zapraszam wszystkich do oglądania. Pozdrawiam. Przygotowania do walki o Mistrzostwo Świata zajęły Andrzejowi, a zajęło jeszcze Andrzejowi 10 tygodni. A w tej chwili już jesteśmy na etapie przed samą walką, więc Andrzej po prostu walczy o to, żeby zdobyć wagę. Bo niestety musi zejść do 160. Przepraszam, 175 punktów, żeby walczyć o tytuł Mistrza Świata Light Heavyweight, Federacji IBO. Kamp jak zwykle, 10 tygodni a ciężkich treningów, a w tym momencie jeszcze może nie czuję się najlepiej, bo musi robić wagę, więc, więc to jest to, co obniża jego poziom wytrzymałości fizycznej, ale w dniu walki, czyli w piątek, będzie na 125% naładowany już energią i gotowy do walki. Także serdecznie zapraszam wszystkich, którzy liczą na Andrzeja i wiedzą, że po prostu oglądanie jego w ringu jest przyjemnością, zwłaszcza jeżeli kończą się te walki nokautem, a ja myślę, że jest przygotowany na 125% i te 5% dany nokaut w tej walce. Także serdecznie zapraszam. Przyda nam się, że tak powiem, drugi, drugi w tym wypadku zawodnik, a, czyli kibic poza ringiem, który będzie go a, wspierał. My mu położymy z przyrigu, Andrzej będzie walczył w ringu, a wszystkich serdecznie a, zapraszamy na walkę, żeby go wspierali z poza ringu. Także jeszcze raz, a, godzina ósma, miłej sytuacji. Thank you very much for coming to the final press conference of World Championship Boxing on Fowler versus Kopensi this Friday night at the UIC Pavilion. Uh, I will be your support of the media here. Obviously, when you bring in an event this big, it's important to have the support of the media, fans, everybody involved. So we've been doing this here in Chicago for a long time. We've been doing shows at the UIC Pavilion now for almost four years. And we can't do it without the media support. So thank you all for coming. Uh, it's been kind of a unique event here at the Trump International. And we're very, very thankful for their support also being involved in this event, as well as the rest of our sponsors. A couple, uh, in, uh, a little bit of information about the event. First bounce was started at 8.15, doors started open at 7 p.m. All of the $150 seats, the ringside seats, closest ringside seats have been sold out. The $100 seats are also very close to selling out. So if you're planning on sitting up close, you should buy your tickets immediately. Uh, there will be tickets available at the door in the $30 and the $50 range also. One of the things that's kind of unique about this event, along with uh, obviously having a world title fight for the IBO Light Heavyweight Championship, is across the board there's an 89% winning percentage amongst the fighters that are competing on this card. Uh, you can look in the boxing rock, box rack or other websites or go to other cards, you won't see 89% winning percentage in other cards. So this is unprecedented. This is something that Frank Magnolo has put together here with Ron Three Productions that's uh, unique and is more of the same which will be coming in his events. First of all, I'd like to introduce the panel also. Frank Magnolo is the president of Round 3 Productions. His father, the patriarch of the family, Mugs over here on the left. <laughs> Next to him, Sam Colonna. Andrew's trainer, the trainer of quite a number of other, other uh, world champions that he's trained here, including Andrew Bellata, Angel Manfredi, and a friend of the boxing community for many, many years here in Chicago. Next to, next to uh, Sam is Mark Bonfara, Andrew's brother and manager. <laughs> to my immediate left over here, as you all know, Chicago's Polish Prince, Andrew Bonfara. <laughs> On the side over here, the Karpensky side, Mr. Tommy Karpensky Sr., his father and trainer. Tommy Karpensky from Ada, Pennsylvania, the fighting pride of Western Pennsylvania. <laughs> I'd like to turn it over now to Frank Magnolo, the president of Round 3 Productions. Thank you, Bernie. Um, anyway, I'd like to thank, first of all, thank you, the Trump Organization for making some further hospitality. This has been fantastic. Um, you know, we start this weeks ago getting ready for the fight. And main event for the IBO flight heavyweight title of the world <clears throat> between Fonfara and Karpinski. It's going to be a great fight. Um, 
anyone who was at the last fight. Well, you know, Andrew as a promoter, it's it's it's, uh, it's nice to have somebody like Andrew Fonferro. I mean, his last ten fights, nine were knockouts. In the last fight, if you were there at the Glenn Johnson fight, went the decision. Andrew won the unanimous decision. He's something special. And uh, during that, uh, we were getting ready for that fight. Uh, I remember at uh, one press conference, everybody was saying, you know, maybe the promoter would rush in Andrew, you know, Ron Ferrer's not ready. And then Sam gets up. He made sign, I tell Sam this all the time. Sam got up and said, well, when's the right time? Now, Sam wasn't mad, but he was getting a little irritated. Now's the right time. And this is the right time now for the IBO light heavyweight title. This is the time. This is now the time for the press, and I really appreciate the press being here because you can let the people of Chicago know we have something special here. And especially the Polish press. I mean, this is really something uh, um, that they should be proud of. And he has a tremendous Polish uh, support, and, and I hope they show, you know, they show up Friday, which I think they will. So now's the time. And now's the time to buy tickets, because as a promoter, we want to fill that stadium. We want to keep it in Chicago. We want to have all the fights here come, come to our town. This is a great town. This is Chicago, the greatest town in the world, the greatest fight town. So please, um, Spread the word, come to the fight. It's gonna be, you got two elite fighters here. It's gonna, plus the undercard is great. Come to the fight, I'll see you, for, uh, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow at the weigh-in. We have the weigh-in at the Cine Cineplex Studios. Uh, if not, I'll see you Friday. It's gonna be a great fight, and uh, hope to see you there. Thank you. Well, as Frank said, tomorrow at 6.30, we are doing a public weigh-in on the set of the TV shows Chicago Fire and Boss, the Cinespace Chicago Film Studios, 2621 West 15th Place. The public is invited to watch the final stare-downs of their of the favorite boxes before they actually get in the ring. Frank and Alex, you mentioned an excellent undercard that we have, and I'd like to talk a little bit about that as quickly as possible. Two of the fighters are here, and I'd like you to hear from them also. Uh, first fighter is a super middleweight. We're always talking about, well, who's the next champion? Who's the next guy? Who's the next person who can work in the main event at some point? And this is someone who's fought four times in the UIC Pavilion and knocked off their opponents. He's former Chicago Good Loves champion and the amateur standout. His name is Paul Littleton. I'm going to bring him up. The other undercard fighter is a little more familiar. You've seen him here in Chicago. The last time he fought at the UIC Pavilion in 2010, he won the USBO IBO heavyweight title. His name is known, he's from Evanston, Illinois. He's uh, known as Iron Fist, Mr. Carl Davis. Thank you, everybody. Um, I love fighting at home. This time I had my first first conference in Chicago. Um, Morgan Frank and Dominic Cassola for having me on this card. Um, I want to thank my coach, Jeff Colonna, for training me and preparing me for this fight. My manager, I want to take, thank Mike. Thank you so much for making this possible for me. My coach, Nick, thank you so much for putting the strength back in me. Um, thank God. I want you to guys to know Friday is going to be a hell of a show. Don't blink. Um, man. That's about it. It's happy to be home. It's happy to be home, fighting at home, winning at home, and working in Chicago, and bringing boxing back to Chicago like it should be. Thank you. Just to quickly mention the opposition, both fighters are fighting. Paul Littleton has a record of 4-0 with one draw. He's facing an undefeated fighter. Michael Williams, who's 2-0 with two knockouts from St. Louis. Carl Davis is 16-4-0 with 12 knockouts. He's facing 10-0 with 8 knockouts, Richard Carmack. So keep an eye on the fights. They could, they could end very quickly. In regards to the main event, the first person I'd like to bring up to speak about this is the uh, trainer, father, and coach of Tommy Carpensi Jr., Mr. Tommy Carpensi Sr. from Ada, Pennsylvania. Frank, Dominic, Bernie, thank you guys for having us out here. 
Uh, I look around, there's uh, more people in this room than there is in my hometown, so I'm not <laughs> too used to this. Uh, and uh, the one thing we're used to, we're used to being on the road. We don't have a promoter. We have a great manager who uh, manages Tommy very well. Uh, we're happy to be here. We're happy to be a part of this, happy to be a part of this IBO championship. Uh, I look upon the IBO as, as, as an outstanding championship because uh, any time Vladimir Klitschko walks in the ring, he brings that belt with him. So to me, that means a whole heck of a lot. for selecting us to compete in this event. Uh, we've had a good, we've had a good camp. Uh, my son's ready to fight. I'm sure Andrew's had a good camp. I'm sure he's ready to fight. And uh, I hope we put on uh, an entertaining show for the crowd. And we hope you guys get your money's worth. Thank you. I would be remiss if I didn't mention Donna Pasoli, the president of Acom Productions. Since 1998. <laughs> Next up, I'd like to introduce the trainer for Andrew Fonfaro, Mr. Sam Colonna. First of all, I'd like to thank everybody for um, showing up today. And uh, when this first started, this little this little project with uh, with the promoters, they called me and said, "We're going to give uh, Eddie from Far a shot at the IBO title." I said, "Well, who's who's in mind?" And they gave me a couple names. Then they brought up Tommy. I said, "Well, before we make a decision, let me think about this." And I did. I went home and I did my homework. I studied a bunch of guys, and I said, "You know what? Tommy's a real deal." I said, I want, I want Andrew to fight him. We don't want to take a step forward. We want to go, I mean, backwards. We want to go forward. And uh, looking at Tommy's tapes, I said, this, this fight here is going to be a real tough fight. But this is the kind of fight I want for Andrew. I do not want Andrew going there and knocking somebody out, not learning nothing. This is the fight we need. This is the fight that will bring Andrew to the next level. And this is a tough guy here. He's never been down. He's never been knocked out. And that's the kind of fight we need. And I know it's going to be a tough fight. So that's the kind of fight we need. We need a tough fight. And uh, like I said, be there. Do not miss this one. It's going to be an exciting fight. Both of them are on, are on their way up. So both of them are going to go out there to do their best. All right? Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Another integral member of uh, Team Fon Farra is uh, Andrew's brother and manager, Mr. Mark Fonfara. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm really happy uh, that Andrew uh, will fight for World Championship. Uh, I'm so proud of my brother. Uh, I know that uh, he was uh, waiting for this fight for uh, his whole, whole career. Uh, I would like to say thank you for everyone uh, that helped us so far and uh, I hope that uh, will be a great fight. Thank you so much. Okay, now it's time to get down to the fighters. Um, been doing boxing here and publicizing for many years. I've seen big crowds and we're going to have a huge crowd on Friday night for this world title fight. Uh, it's been a long time in the making. Andrew's been fighting here in Chicago since the second professional fight. I remember coming in Cicero Stadium when he won, and I thought to myself, he's an interesting fighter. I asked him what his nickname is, and he says, I don't have a nickname. So I said, well, how about the Polish Prince? He was 2-0 oh then. He says, I don't like the Polish Prince. Now he likes the Polish Prince. <laughs> Works out a little bit better. Tommy Carpenzi over here doesn't have a nickname, but uh, he's the fighting pride of Western Pennsylvania. Please give him a warm Chicago welcome to Tommy Carpenzi. to be here fighting for the world title uh, IBO. This is my second world title fight. Hopefully this one works out a little bit better. Um, I want to thank the IBO and uh, Round 3 Productions for putting the fight on and giving me the opportunity for, to uh, fight Andrew here in the hometown. Uh, watch this fight against Glenn Johnson and uh, you know I want to fight the best. He's one of the best so I'm here. Ready to go.
Okay. The man of the hour, the one you've been wanting to hear from the entire time here, Chicago's Polish <laughs> Prince from Warsaw, Poland, Andrew Fontara. Uh, hi, everybody. I want to thank uh, everyone who came here to our press conference. I want to thank you, Dominic, uh, Frank, and uh, all guys who you know, do this fight, my brother Mark, uh, my trainer, and all my family, you know. Uh, he supports me, and uh, I'm happy about that uh, I fight with uh, Tommy, he's a tough guy. Uh, and same, same thing what he say. I want to fight with the best guys. He's, he's the best guy because uh, he fights with the best guy. He fights with uh, Cleverly, he fights with uh, Karl Murad. This guy's the best, and he, he gives uh, this guy a good fight. Then I'm ready for this fight. We have very good camp. We have a lot of sparring rounds. Great, great, you know, prepare for, for this fight. And uh, I'm ready for this fight, and I'm ready to uh, be our champion. Thank you. Okay, before we pose the fighters again, the weigh-in is tomorrow at 6.30. The weigh-in is tomorrow at 6.30. The City Space Chicago Film Studios, home of Chicago Fire, and the TV show Boss. 26-21 was 15th place, and it's open to the public. Doors open on Friday night at 7 p.m. The first bow will be 8.15 p.m. Thank you very much all for coming. We'll get these fighters together. What about questions? Afterwards. Afterwards? We'll Gentlemen. Come Yes, this way. This way. The other way. I called first. <laughs> Who was that? Who was that? Got it? Okay, this way. This way. Straight ahead. Thank you. Head to the left, please. That's a stair. I'll call it stair down. Whoa. Tommy and Andrew will both be available now for any questions we have. Place it up front. Thanks. Get ready. See if I'm in the window. That's a stair. Tom, that's going to fall. Hey, Tommy, uh, Larry Hamilton, sometimes you, you certainly aren't shy about going into other fighters' hometowns to fight. Um, it may not be the smartest strategy sometimes to do that, obviously, but what, what is your thought about uh, coming to uh, Andrew's hometown, his home arena, the place where he's fought virtually all of his pro fights of, of note? And, and he has a huge following here. What's that, what, what does that play into uh, you know, your thinking on taking a fight? Well, for me, um, going into the other fighters' hometown is pretty much my only chance because where I come from, even I'm, I'm south of Pittsburgh about an hour. Mm -hmm. I live in a very, very small town. There's, it's not a boxing hotbed. Mm -hmm. uh, so for me to get to the main stage where we're at now, I have to come to his hometown. Mm -hmm. He's the draw, you know. Um, as far as the crowd and everything, I, you know, I fought in Wales, I fought in Germany. It's nothing I'm not used to. It's something I'm actually comfortable with. And another thing is the pressure's on him. He's a man. He's a man here. He's the Polish prince. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, everybody, no one knows me. I'm going to come here. I'm going to fight. I'm going to leave. So uh, I'm ready to go, you know. Thank you. Thank this you. pressure is my motivation. That's good. <laughs> I can do that with that. Are you worried about the scorecards at all? Uh, I you know. You know what? I, I don't even know. Uh, what I can say about the judges is, you see guys get rooked in their hometown, and you see guys get rooked out of their hometown. Um, I think it just depends on what judges you have, what that actual judge appreciates. If he appreciates boxing, pressure, defense, ring generalship, you know, whatever. You, you can't worry about the scorecards. Only you can do is go out there and fight your fight. That's all you can do. What do you think you bring that uh, is going to cause him a lot of problems? Well, I, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say, I, you know, I'm a great boxer, I'm a great puncher. 
I'm just not going to talk about strategy much. I come here to win. I'm in good shape. They gave me notice. I don't have to fly out of the country. I'm actually going back in the time zone for a change. So jet lag isn't going to be an issue either. And uh, I'm well prepared for this. You have a prediction? You knock them out? Win. Just win. Just win the fight. What about you, Andrew? You got a prediction? Uh, no, same thing. You know, I want to just win the fight. However, uh, you know, decision or KO, I want to just win this fight. You had mentioned after the Johnson fight that you wanted to fight cleverly. That, are you disappointed now that you didn't get the WBO title shot? Or? No, 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 it's, it's a great opportunity for me, you know. Uh, we don't fight with Beverly because, you know, we don't, we don't have a good proposition, you know. He gives us uh, two propositions, two options, but it's, it's not good for us. And we try to do this, this way, you know, fight for IBO with, uh, with uh, Tommy Garvin. How do you think his style matches up to your different uh, His style? <coughs> Uh, it's his softball, you know, it's, it's, it's a little bit different, but I inspire a lot with softball, with this camp, and I feel good with that, and it's not a problem for me. Tommy, how do you imagine the, the fight? How do you think it's going to be? Uh, you know, you, you can watch all the film in the world, I'm sure he has, I have, we all watch film, every fighter. And uh, until there's two guys actually getting ringing in the room, I, I can't make a prediction on how the fight may go. It, 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 we could be holding each other all night. We could be swinging for defenses. You, you don't you don't know until you get in there because and, and, you can't predict the speed of a man, the power, even the, the, the simple subtle angles that you get that you don't pick up on film when you're out there. So uh, you know you know you have to make an adjustment when you get out there. He trains for southpaws. I train for right handers. Every southpaw is different. Every orthodox fighter is different. You know. And you just have to be ready for pretty much anything. Has there been anything on film that you've watched that you're looking to take advantage of on Friday? N nothing in particular. You know, he's a solid all-around fighter. A anybody in the top 10, top 20 in the world, you're fighting the best in the world. You know. What about you, Andrew? Have you noticed that? Uh, I think it's you know, same thing like him. You know, every fight is different, and every oh, you every boxer is different. You know. It's softball, but it's a different softball. Like, I spar with this guy, you know. Then we'll see on Friday, you know. We go in the ring on Friday, and we'll see how, how this all things you know, go. But you know, I want to win this fight, that's it. Anything else? We're going to pose in front of the Trump banner also over there, down there. <laughs> <laughs> Myślę, że myślę, że ten pierwszy, to pierwsze starcie wygrałem, ale to nie wszystko trzeba wyjść do ringu i pokazać tam, że, że jest się lepszym. Ja oczywiście dziękuję Państwu za, za oglądanie konferencji. No i zapraszam na, na jutrzejszą wagę i, i w piątek na walkę. Także dziękuję bardzo i pozdrawiam z Chicago.